I have a new tutorial for you and this one is a little bit more exciting. Um, I want to say from the start that you will need to have FileMaker Pro Advanced version 10 or higher in order to pull this off. Um, it's, a it's a little bit tricky but what exactly I'm going to show you is um, first in previous versions of FileMaker let's say you had a field where you type something and you would have the results come up on a list this is what it would look like and then when I click out of the field <clears throat> then we would see the result appear okay so this is okay I mean it's it's interesting and you can perform this very easily with any version of FileMaker but it would be much nicer to see this. Now do you see how the text filters? It automatically uh, filters the list as I type. And this is what we want to do. So we're going to use something called script triggers, which was introduced in FileMaker version 10 in order to pull this off. So the first thing is we'll take a look at our table and really this is just one table so let's create a new file I'll call it uh, lookup and in this lookup table we're gonna have let's say a term and we're gonna make a calculation but before we do that we'll make our global field so this will be search term and let's double click this and turn it under storage we want to set this as a global field a global field means that this field has one value no matter where you are in the table so you can use it to store information okay and once that's done click OK now I'm gonna to go to our other file and the reason I say that you need version 10 advanced is you have to create a function. So to do that we go to File, Manage, Custom Functions. All right, And we're going to create a new one. And I called it Index Word. You can call it whatever you want. And this is the calculation. So what this calculation does is it takes the string that you type for example um, let's say this is our string and it chops it up so that it returns this and so on now the reason we do this is because in FileMaker you can only do an exact match. You can't really search uh, parts of text because then all of your results would be huge in your when you do a perform a query. So by creating a field that has this text in it, when you search, FileMaker will link whatever your search field is to any one of these results. Now, of course, it would be really annoying to go to each field and type what I'm doing right now. So we're going to create a function that does that automatically. Okay? And this is the function. And I'll have this function available on the right uh, on the description of this video for you to just copy and paste. Okay? But basically this function has two parameters text and header. All right? So when you call this function, you're going to call it like this. And the first parameter, text, will be the name of your field that you want to index. And then you just, you're just going to put two quotes, meaning that the header starts blank. Okay? And really just to, to sum it up, it just does exactly what I showed you. Okay? So let's click OK and now that this function is available we're gonna go back to our manage database dialog and we're gonna 
click on this table that we created and we're going to add one more field called search field and this is going to be a calculation okay and now since we've created our custom function it's available here so let's double click this and our text is going to be our term field and like I said the header will start off blank alright and let's change this to a text field and then we're going to go to storage options and we want to make sure that indexing automatically create indexes as needed is checked do not check this value otherwise your calculation will take forever when you type something it's going to calculate it on the fly and we want FileMaker to index this so it comes out quickly alright so let's click OK and then lastly we're going to make what's called a self join what that means is we're going to make the same table access itself so we don't have to create a new one so our search term is going to connect to our search field okay so this is our calculation field and this is our global field so when anything matches it will pull up the records alright let's click OK so now the, the uh, hard part is done. So now we're going to create a script and we'll call this trigger refresh. And this script consists of two steps. The first one is to commit the records or save them. This will exit you out of any field that's active. And then we want to use the go to field step and the field we want to go to is the global field search term okay now you want to make sure this is not checked because if it is it'll overwrite what you type in there by not checking it it'll just go to the last the end point of whatever you typed so you can just keep typing we'll save that and we're gonna close that alright now before we continue let's just create a few terms Apple Abacus. Um, I should have pulled out a dictionary. Alfalfa Asteroid. I can't think of any more words. A ground, a field. That should be enough. Okay? Now, Let's go to layout mode. We can get rid of this term field. And we're going to create a portal. And we want to access our related table lookup2. And we're going to sort the results by the term in ascending order. So that'll put them in alphabetical order. And let's add a scroll bar and then we'll add our term field so it will appear on the layout and then we're going to select this field and go to format field control behavior and we're going to turn off browse mode ability to enter in browse mode now let's go to browse mode now if I type something here you'll see that the results come up but notice I have to exit the field in order for it to update. So we're going to make it not have to do that. The next step is to go to layout mode and we'll control click this field and we're going to set a script trigger and we want to use on object modify. So click that and we're going to activate this script we created. Okay? So after the select selected object is modified, this script will perform itself. Now let's go back to browse mode. And now if I type, it automatically filters my text. Okay, that's it. It's pretty simple actually. But the key is really to have that function and to set the script trigger. I hope you enjoyed that one.